American Hero is a full motion video game developed by Interactive Productions and published by Atari for the Atari Jaguar CD and released in the year... Never? Did we pick a game for the show that didn't come out? Yes! Uh... Why? Because this game has a very interesting past. The console it was in development for was discontinued before the game could be finished. Ah, yes, the Atari Jaguar. That was a very unpopular console. And its CD-ROM attachment? Even more so. It was on shelves not even a year before the entire Jaguar line was scratched out in 1996. And with that, American Hero lost any hope of being released. Which was a shame because it was said to be a new vision for FMV games. 90s full motion video games popularized as FMV games for short were not all that great. Yeah, take it from us. While we played many of them and even enjoyed a couple, most failed at being actual fun games. They struggled to mix pre-recorded video sequences with interactive gameplay. Usually, FMV games were fast-paced, blending near-constant video with interactivity, making the experience feel rushed or very hard to follow, which made all of that interesting video stuff kind of pointless. Yeah. But that's where American Hero came in with a bold new FMV game concept. Really? What was that? They removed the game part. Uh... How do you even do that? Without the gameplay, well, wouldn't that just be a movie? An interactive movie. To do this, Atari developed an entirely new format called Game Film. Apparently the concept was to make FMV games more interactive with branching paths and seamless scene transitions. Kind of like a choose your own adventure book. You picked an option and moved forward with the story. Only two titles were ever produced for it. A tech demo called Caves of Fear and American Hero. Neither were officially released. Okay, buddy, you're losing me here. If none of these interactive movie games ever got into gamers' hands, what the heck are we even playing? Oh, it's true that American Hero was never published, but it doesn't mean people haven't played it. So we're playing the unfinished prototype? No, because we don't need to. Huh? American Hero is a full motion video game developed by Empty Clip Studios and published by Ziggurat Interactive for the PlayStation 4, Xbox consoles, Nintendo Switch, and PC. PC in 2021. 25 years after it was filmed? All that content has been restored? Not just restored, but also remastered and put together into a modern video game package. This is great! Preserving video game history is very important. Every game that's pulled from the past and made playable on modern hardware is something to celebrate, especially when it's a game that never actually came out in the first place. That leaves us with a big question. How does it hold up after almost three decades of being lost and forgotten? Will its celebrated seamless film-like presentation still impress, or is it best left as a bizarre piece of gaming history? It's time to buckle up for a 90s action-packed throwback thrill ride with American Hero. The game begins suddenly without a title screen, introduction, or anything, and into an adult themed dance facility. Whoa, we're really gonna have to blur out a lot of footage here, guys. They really wanted to earn that M rating. My home away from home. We're greeted by the inner monologue of our main character, who is played by actor Timothy Bottoms. Hey, Sherlock, you got something against me making a living? Relax, just carrot juice. Before we learn our hero's name, we find out this is his regular hangout and he sneaks in his own carrot juice. Just carrot juice. We'll just call him Mr. Rabbit for now. Here's trouble. You told me I'd find you here. Well, they were right, so now you can off, Sergeant Hoover. We get the feeling that these two have a history. Can't wait to find out what it is. The old man has a problem. He needs your help. I'm not interested. It involves Laura and a dangerous mind control virus. Laura. They're really setting up a lot in these first few minutes, yet we still have so many questions. The old man has a problem. Who is the old man? It involves Laura. Who is Laura? Laura. And a dangerous mind control virus. What is a mind control virus? And we still don't know Mr. Rabbit's name. We think she's been kidnapped. Can't say more. Walls have ears. If you're interested, Meet me somewhere a little more private. A rock in a hard place. Bad news. Bad news. Bad news. 
Okay. Oh look, for the first time we're getting a button prompt. Right here, this is that famous seamless gameplay they designed. It looks like the video is stuck on a broken track and repeating over and over. It's really, really not seamless. In fact, it's kind of jarring. Well, let's see. Bad news is probably getting more info about Laura's kidnapping and then party? What's that? It can't mean what it looks like it means, can it? I, I don't know, man. What do you think is behind the black rectangle? I guess we gotta find out. Bad news, I tell you. Uh, striptease. Our options were talk to the guy who knows what's going on or this. That's weird. That was our first choice in this entire game. Do we need to hear this? Also, what's with the weird disco ball B-roll? Yeah, what the, yeah, what the? Our second choice is here, but I don't get it. What do we do? It's a 50-50 chance. Let's try this. Yeah, what the? Ah! Oh, Whoa! Oh, holy crap. crap! Why did she just kill him? What did he even do? All right, Laura. Be brave the way Jack would want you to be. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. The second choice the game gave us, and one of the options was instant death, that doesn't feel like a good sign. At least we can thank this funeral scene for finally revealing Mr. Rabbit's name. It's Jack. All right, Laura. Be brave the way Jack would want you to be. Oh, and look, Laura's grieving Jack's death. Guess the whole kidnapped thing worked itself out. I think she's been kidnapped, can't say more. And she's being comforted by the guy from Reservoir Dogs? What do you mean you don't tip? They don't believe in it. Shut up. What do you mean you don't believe in it? Oh, we're missing something. Let's have Jack Rabbit hop back for another spin. Yeah, what? What was that? It cut to static, then jumped to a weird reaction shot, and then the disco ball again? Oh, that? Yeah. They explain that in the tutorial section. There's a tutorial? It's mostly a message from the developers explaining the state the game's in. See, what they could find, they put into the game, but not every little bit of footage had been filmed. So these static effects are added where they were missing transitional footage. Oh, good. Stuff mm -hmm. is missing. That should be real fun moving forward. But luckily, the actor Timothy Bottoms came back and reprised his role to record all those talking to himself lines in the game. So all those lines are new? Piss off, Sergeant Hoover. It's Colonel Hoover. EFD. Newly recorded, but not newly written. They use the original script. We're still getting all that wonderful, fresh 90s cheese. Relax, just carrot juice. Pinhead. Okay, partially finished game stapled together for our enjoyment. Let's keep the party going. More. What the fuck? Ah. Ah. Uh. Just a few minutes in and we're already getting repeated video sequences? Why give a follow-up choice if you had nothing new to show? Let's try again. Third time's the charm. Or, what the fuck? Right in the face! That's what you get for stabbing us in the neck! Which she didn't actually do this time, so Jack just kind of punched her. Because reasons? <laughs> After Jack viciously attacks the dancer, he turns his attention back to the disco ball, and then... Well, clearly we do not want to hang around here. Let's escape! escape. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Are you kidding me? How is this a fluid story driven game? It's like it just wants you to die every few seconds. There's two ways you can go on this job. My way or the highway. 
How did Jack get in this room? Wouldn't he have used a door or something? Couldn't he have exited through the same door instead of smashing face first through the window? That just seems excessive. And our only other option was boombox. What is a boombox gonna do that's helpful? I guess we're about to find out. Let's play this again. But uh, please, let's skip the cutscenes. We've already watched these so many times. Okay, well, let me see the controller and uh, 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 there's no skip button. You're telling me there's no way to fast forward at all? That as, as long as the game keeps killing us, we're gonna be forced to sit through these scenes infinite times? Yep. Even the ultra repetitive funeral scene? Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Yep. Don't worry, folks, for your sake, we'll skip ahead. Just know we were not so lucky. Let's pick Boombox, I guess. Nothing else we can do. What just happened? Somehow the disco ball shot a single purple laser at Jack, but it only happens if you select the boombox option to destroy the disco ball. A laser shooting disco ball? Call back! The Canadian disco ball of death, eh? Wait a sec, how did Jack know the disco ball was dangerous? How did he know the boombox was gonna destroy the disco ball? How did the boombox destroy the disco ball? None of this remotely makes any sense at all. Get out, take it. Get out, take it. We grab a random blue piece of paper that says KVK and we hop out the now smashed window. What's Jack Rabbit gonna do next? Shortcut, Laura's. Shortcut, Laura's. Well, we probably want to investigate whether Laura's been kidnapped, right? So we'll see what's going on at Laura's house. Laura's. Gate, door, climb, gate, door, climb, gate, mm, door. Let's take the climb. door. Something the game didn't give us an option for earlier. Door. Hey, like someone just Somebody's here. The oh. ah! What? That was it? Where was our option to fight back? He immediately gets captured. I guess Jack isn't so tough outside the VIP room. Who's this? Where are we? What's wrong with that guy? Good to see you again, Jack. Well, I was hoping it wouldn't be for at least another 40 years. Prison food was just too boring. Where's Laura? Everything in good time. He the main villain? Yup. He's, He's the, the villain. villain. But who is he? How does he know Jack? What are we doing here? Can we have absolutely any suggestion at all of anything that is going on right now? Hmm? It feels like we're not being given any plot to go along with all of these random video clips. Los Angeles is built on near desert. Water keeps it alive. If someone were to infect this life's blood, Say, for instance, the entire city would be contaminated. I will release my virus into the system. It will be the greatest biological conquest of all time. I no longer have to rely on this primitive but clever circulation. Okay, the evil villain explained his devious plans that he's committing for... What reason? We didn't get a reason. He's just evil. Didn't you see the picture? Hey, wait a second. We've seen that water bottle before. That dancer that was poking us in the neck was drinking from it. Was he infecting people with bottled water? Was she under mind control? A dangerous mind control. Uh, yeah? But how does that work, though? Did the water tell her to kill Jack? Did the water also magically give her a syringe filled with poison? Feel like the game's making less sense as we progress, not more. After tonight, a new order shall prevail. My order. <laughs> Another failed attempt at the antivirus? 
I will help it soon enough. So hold up, this World War II villain cosplayer is about to unleash a destructive virus on the world and he doesn't have a safeguard to protect himself? I will help it soon enough. They deliver all this in a massive exposition dump. Did we happen to catch the villain's name yet? No. Great. Who needs a name or motivation? He's evil. The picture says so. Put him with a good dog. doing here so we finally get to meet Laura. Laura apparently the game can't decide if she's kidnapped or not seems like a plot hole hey here's a fun fact that's Musetta Vander and she has some gaming movie history she was in Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat! oh wow annihilation too bad you will die oh wow uh oh Jack and Laura are in a booby-trapped cell and they're going to be squished to death very slowly. What do we do? Do something, Jack! <sighs> Air pin, the guard. Air pin, the guard. Neither feel like great ways to get out alive. We'll go with guard. The guard. Open up! You open up! We want to talk. You want to talk about something? Yeah, the antivirus formula it has an error in it. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. We escaped? Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, we escaped! The guard was really stupid, but finally something went right. Left, right. Okay, so we're trying to run out of this facility now. Gotta make a choice between going left or right with no indication on what the correct way is. Uh, let's go with lucky left. Left. Oh. So far, so good. Let's keep it up. Left, right. Again. Okay, right this time. Left, right. How many times do we have to do this? All these hallways and scenes look the same. Are we just looping? Wait. Yeah, hold on. Are we looping? That's the same guy Jack just beat up. Jack doles out some more punishment and then left, right. Why have they done this? It's just the same thing over and over with slight changes. Fighting the same enemy for a third time? These fight scenes are all different. That means they planned for this. Left, right. Ah! When will it end? No more running. So we did our best to guess our way through looping hallways with no direction from the game and for our efforts, we're abruptly killed off? Yeah, yeah. Oh, look, they even filmed the second funeral scene with two caskets. It's part of the game to get Laura killed? Uh, did we hit credits? Did we finish the game? But nothing got resolved and the main protagonist is dead. Well, well the credits don't lie. Don't worry, I got this. It's just stop! This cannot be the end. <sighs> Think we may need to do something drastic. No. No. Don't say it! I think we need to replay the entire game from the start. No! First, we gotta answer the question. Why did they make the gameplay so insultingly simple? FMV games at this time used video more as a tool to build their game on, rather than be the entire game on its own. Full motion video cutscenes with live actors were used in multiple titles like Wing Commander 3 and Tex Murphy Under a Killing Moon. But these were separate from the actual gameplay and were just tools used to tell the story. You want some of this, huh? Bam, bam! 
Other games, though, that tried to mix gameplay with video? They had problems. Double Switch and the far more notorious Night Trap had the player switching between constantly playing FMV sequences on a security camera type setup. You were always dropping into the middle of various scenes already in progress. The focus was on timing your traps and not as much on absorbing the story. But this gameplay also didn't offer much to players looking for a fun experience. Timing your inputs with video clips was finicky and most couldn't be bothered. And before any of those games, we had titles like Dragon's Lair and Space Ace, which combined full animated video with precise player inputs. But the difficult gameplay got in the way of enjoying the story. And then American Hero is basically all story and very little gameplay. But it doesn't feel like an evolution. Instead of paving a new path forward for FMV games, it was lost. Judging from the prototypes we've seen for the original Jaguar CD of both American Hero and Caves of Fear, we can't imagine this would have revolutionized any Anything. There's nothing here but a simple multiple choice system. But simple doesn't mean it's easy. Restarting this game over and over, scraping together enough plot points to just barely figure out what story this game was trying to tell, almost broke us. But we did it. We played with every possible combination of choices and paths. We restarted so many times. But we found everything the game was hiding from us. And it was a lot. Our first playthrough barely scratched the surface. If you played like we did at first, you would have missed about half the content in the game. No joke! We found new locations with longer conversations with characters and introduced whole other characters that we didn't see before. Kruger's escaped. Flora was working for us. She developed an antivirus formula. They kidnapped her before she could get it to us. The villain's name is Kruger, and Laura is making an antivirus. That seems important to know. And remember this guy from the funeral? Well, there's a whole conversation with him in a limo. We didn't get any of this on our first playthrough. You're completely missing important plot. There's fights that Jack wins and fights that he loses. And there are gratuitous adult situations. Do her. Just talk. Do her. Just talk. Multiple gratuitous adult situations. Mm -hmm. Ollie, I'm on a mission. How about, um, missionary? Mm -hmm. Not now. Why not? Mm -hmm. Hey, Jack, remember Laura? Yeah, yeah. For God's sake, man, keep your shorts on. We're running out of time. And let's not forget the radio station. We didn't even know this area existed our first few times through. Oh, we saw Jack get in, but then he'd always get taken away to Kruger. Remember that car that looked like the production assistant printed it at home the night before? That gets you into the radio station. You won't get in without it. Once you're in, you find a secret underground radio setup. Zombie Control Central. We think this is how Kruger transmits messages to his followers. They drink tainted water bottles and suddenly the radio tells them what to do. It's never explained how it works, but this is a scrap of context you miss completely if you never come down here. Shockingly, a lot of stuff can be completely avoided. Stuff that money went into filming. Like the best part of the game we haven't shown you yet. The Super Taxi. Hey Fred, you, do you want to get the production assistance to, to redo that painting on the door? American Hero has a high octane car chase scene. It's not at all important to the plot, but you can make this happen. Ooh. The entire sequence is just a series of multiple choices that really take the fun and speed out of something as high energy as a car chase. Keep right, huh? Left. Right. Oh, did you think because the sign said keep right that it was some sort of clue? Why would you think that? American Hero doesn't care about you. You're making wild, uninformed decisions while Jack's life hangs in the balance. You at least know where most of these options are coming from. Like, you know that a car has a gas pedal and a brake, but once in a while, they're just confusing. Like the time we were running away from Kruger's goons and we found ourselves suddenly in front of a random angry mob of people. Hammer. Run, pray, run. Pray. Run or pray? Well, obviously, we want to run away. <coughs> nope! 
You've got to pray. What was the point of that? Jack ended up running anyway. It's not about choosing what option feels right to you. All that matters is whether you pick what the game says is the right answer. This made most of our gameplay feel like this. A, B, A. Oh, come on! Wait a minute, hey, wait a minute. The truth is, you have no choice. No matter what path you take, you always end up right back in this endless hallway nightmare. It's unavoidable. Nothing will change that. Good to see you again, Jack. This is where the branching paths go to die. It's Kruger, Cell, Hallway. Every single time. There's no escaping it. No escape. There's no escape. This is madness. I give up. Wait, wait. Who's that? What did you select? I didn't select anything. I thought they said go left, left, right. No left, freaking right. way. They must be lost. All these tunnels look the same. They knew we were gonna get confused and lost. And instead of making gameplay that actually made sense, they just scripted a character to literally tell you what to do in the off chance that you threw your controller in frustration and selected nothing at all, letting the options time themselves out to reveal an invisible third option. My rage has become infinite. My thoughts can burn out stars. I see only the pure elements of anguish and hatred. An energy so defined is within me that I could collapse eternity with the utterance of a single game title. American Hero. 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 We follow the walking help files directions and finally exit the hallway leading to this. Bingo, the formula. And a place to make the antidote. Uh-huh. Oh, what? They suddenly have the formula now? Why? When? How? Sneak in. Break in. Sneak in, break in. So we sneak in and let Laura make some sort of distraction while Jack is left to work the science stuff and develop a vial of the antidote. Plus an A2. A2. <laughs> this one. That one. Does Jack even know what any of these vials are? This one. So where were we? Guess she wants the red stuff. Very volatile. Mix it with the green stuff. <laughs> Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Let's try that again. Sneak in, choose that one this time, and we're moving on with a tube of the cure. Laura, this is where you're gonna get off. What? I'm gonna take Kruger down at the reservoir, and there's no place for you. I want you to find a safe place. I'll see you when it's over. I want to be with you, Jack. Seems like Laura really had a change of heart since. Wait a minute. What are you doing here? Which was like four minutes ago in real time. Before the final confrontation with Kruger, we get a very important choice to make. Do it. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. Oh, come on. No, they didn't. They couldn't. Yeah. They did. Troops are at the dam by now. No way. As Jack, you can actually choose to skip stopping Kruger's plan and go to the fancy fun dancing facility. Oh, this is the best ending. I think we can all agree this is the correct ending. We would love nothing more than for this to be the end, but that's not what an American hero would do. Yeah, you're right. Do it. It's time for Jack to become the hero America deserves. This is gonna be a. Ah! You okay? Ah, yes. Jeez. I told you to stay someplace safe. Yes, Jack, you did. I just thought you might need some help. 
So Jack and Laura team up to stop Kruger, and then the military guy from the beginning is there, because he's a double agent. Goodbye, Hoover. Goodbye, Kruger. I mean, of course. Why not? That makes sense. See, he's the whole reason Jack left the strip joint in the first place. If he said nothing, Jack would have stayed behind and done and contributed to nothing. This plot is f***ing bonkers. Big day. Very excited. <laughs> Yeah. Move on! What exactly is Jack's plan to stop Kruger here? I'm going over here to get a bank of it. You just stay here. I will. What the? Did the video just freeze? Yeah, gotta restart again. Unfortunately, folks, this isn't the first time we've had to deal with this. The game froze or glitched 25 times during our playthrough on Xbox Series X. Now, the PC version worked fine, and maybe they'll patch the Xbox version eventually, but no matter what version you play, it's all the same gameplay. This reservoir area has one long unskippable cutscene before getting to anything American Hero considers gameplay. Any mistake here forces you to rewatch all of this all over again. Desperately trying to avoid restarting again, we tried to make the choice the game was looking for. Hoover, drum. Don't shoot the drum! Call him off or you're dead! When Jack comes to, he's been captured, and Kruger has Laura. Too bad, Jack! Hoover sticks you with the mind control virus and throws away your vial of antidote. Uh, pump the brakes. Kruger had Jack in prison before at his factory, and Laura too. Yeah. Why didn't he just inject them when they were captured? That way, they would be under his control, which at that point, he could have forced Laura to make the antidote he wanted. A plot hole so big, you could drive a truck through it. Those two drums explode. An exothermic reaction is gonna multiply that virus faster than you can blink. It's the moment of truth. It's up to Jack to save the world. Hoover, Kruger, Hoover, Kruger. I guess we should have picked Hoover. Or if you make another wrong choice, you get the Kruger wins ending. Good work, my boys. Yeah. Very good work, indeed. Thank you, Herr Kruger. <laughs> But the one true ending, the American hero winning ending? Yes! A Vader Saint Kruger. No, don't! No! 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 Kruger dies in a fiery blaze. Oh, and I guess that specific exothermic reaction didn't cause the virus to spread? You know what? Who cares? Logic is done. Jack is win. No more bad person. Jack gets a commendation from the President of the United States. A character that Timothy Bottoms would go on to famously play as in the show That's My Bush. That's right, folks. He's George Bush. But before that, he was the American hero. An Atari Jaguar CD game that almost never was. Empty Clip and Ziggurat have done probably the best job they could salvaging this unfinished game. It's missing some polish that might have otherwise ended up in the final version, like <laughs> maybe some post-production muzzle flash. And the process to upscale the original low-resolution video files wasn't always perfect, leaving some glitchy artifacts. But having released this title at all is an accomplishment. This remaster has extras, like an optional CRT filter and TV view for that full retro feel. You can also find in-game achievements and unlockable items that appear around your TV for the rest of your game. Though if you've played as long as we did, it gets a little bit cluttered. Yes, our copy on Xbox crashed a lot. 
But there's always a possibility that gets patched over time. But let's face it, there will never be a patch that'll fix American Hero's narrative structure, or lack thereof. Character and plot are what drive good movies, not fist fights and explosions. And good games are driven by gameplay, not whatever this is. Do her. Just talk. Do her. At the end of the day, American Hero is a product of an interesting journey. Who knows how it would have turned out if production had wrapped and the game actually came out in the 90s. But what we have here is an admirable attempt to salvage a piece of gaming history. Doesn't mean it's a good game, but it's definitely worth experiencing. If you have the interest and patience, then this game is full of replay value. We might even call it the ultimate B-movie FMV game out there. But don't take our word for it. Try it out for yourself and see whether you agree that it's just bad good bad good it's just bad take him come on you want a piece of me come on come on come on come on man you want a piece of me come on i'll fight you i'll fight you